NMN, short for nicotinamide mononucleotide, has been a hot topic in the longevity community for quite some time now. This molecule plays a crucial role in boosting NAD+, a coenzyme vital for cellular energy and repair, which is essential for maintaining youthful cellular functions. However, the FDA recently dropped a bombshell. NMN is now banned for sale as a supplement, causing widespread concern. This decision sent shockwaves through the wellness industry, leaving many health enthusiasts and professionals in disbelief. The FDA argues that NMN shows potential as a drug, which necessitates stricter regulations to ensure its safety and efficacy for consumers. This means NMN could eventually be available by prescription, but its future as an over-the-counter supplement is now shrouded in uncertainty. Many who relied on NMN for its potential anti-aging benefits are left wondering about alternatives and what other options might be available to them. The FDA's decision highlights the complexities of navigating the intersection of scientific research, supplement regulation, and consumer demand, which often clash in the wellness industry. The debate over NMN is far from over as scientists, regulators, and consumers continue to discuss its potential and the best path forward. As the dust settles from the FDA's NMN ban, the search for effective NAD plus boosters continues. A new contender has entered the arena, NMNH, or nicotinamide mononucleotide hydride, a promising alternative. This close relative of NMN is rapidly gaining traction as a potential alternative for boosting NAD plus levels, which are crucial for cellular energy and repair. Early research on NMNH is promising, showing potential in various preliminary studies. Studies suggest that NMNH, like NMN, can effectively increase NAD plus in cells, potentially offering similar benefits for cellular health and longevity. This could mean improved energy levels, better cellular repair, and overall enhanced vitality. Furthermore, NMNH boasts a unique advantage. Its chemical structure may allow for better absorption and utilization in the body, making it a more efficient option. The emergence of NMNH offers a glimmer of hope for those seeking NAD plus boosting solutions, especially in the wake of the NMN ban. While more research is needed to confirm its long-term effects and safety, NMNH represents a fascinating development in the ongoing quest to understand and potentially influence the aging process. Scientists are optimistic that NMNH could play a significant role in future health supplements aimed at promoting longevity and combating age-related decline. Dr. David Sinclair, a prominent researcher in the field of aging and a vocal proponent of NMN, has responded to the FDA's recent decision. While acknowledging the regulatory challenges, Sinclair emphasizes the need to separate scientific evidence from market speculation. Sinclair, who has distanced himself from companies like Metrobiotech that commercially produce NMN, reiterates his commitment to rigorous scientific inquiry. He emphasizes that his research focuses on the broader potential of NAD plus boosters, not on any specific product or brand. Sinclair's response underscores the importance of grounding discussions about longevity interventions in solid scientific evidence. He urges the public to approach such developments with cautious optimism, recognizing that the pursuit of healthy aging requires patience, careful research, and responsible regulation. The FDA's recent ban on NMN has not only sparked widespread protests, but has also amplified the voices of critics who have long expressed concerns about the marketing and accessibility of NAD plus boosters. These critics argue that the ban could limit access to potentially beneficial supplements for many people. Some critics point to alleged past tactics by influential figures like Sinclair to control the supply and price of these compounds. They claim that such control could lead to monopolistic practices, making it difficult for the average consumer to afford these supplements. These critics argue that the focus should be on making NAD plus boosters accessible and affordable for everyone, not just a select few. They believe that everyone should have the opportunity to benefit from these advancements, regardless of their financial situation. They call for greater transparency in research funding and potential conflicts of interest within the field of aging research. By ensuring that funding sources and potential biases are openly disclosed, the integrity of the research can be maintained. The debate surrounding NMN and other NAD plus boosters highlights the ethical considerations intertwined with scientific advancements. 
As the science progresses, it is essential to address these ethical dilemmas to ensure that the benefits are not overshadowed by potential harms. As research progresses, addressing these concerns will be crucial to ensuring that the potential benefits of longevity interventions are shared equitably and responsibly. This means creating policies that promote fair distribution and access, so that the advancements in anti-aging science can benefit society as a whole.